Walton County is the first in the panhandle to reopen their beaches to swimmers after Hurricane Idalia. Flags dropped a single red around noon today. As News 13's Kimber Collins explains, vacationers are happy they can enjoy the water while lifeguards are gearing up for Labor Day weekend. What were y'all thinking about the storm? It's ridiculous. The water is back open along 30A, a welcoming sight to those here on vacation. Today's our last day, so we want it to be able to go in the water, but now it's only a one flag, so we're able to swim. Single red flags mean you can go knee deep, but there's still a risk of rip currents. Now that Hurricane Adalia conditions are dying down, South Walton Beach safety is focusing on Labor Day weekend. Labor Day is always going to be one of our biggest weekends of the year. Um, you know, and we will have you know some surf. I don't think it's going to be anything remotely close to what we've had yesterday and this morning. Along with water risks, the Beach Safety Division said they have seen more instances when it comes to the heat. We've had a, a very hot summer and we've had a lot of heat related emergencies. So it's um, it, it's vital that we make sure that everybody is, is getting, you know, ample hydration uh, and the, the right hydration. I should add that in there because we know everybody likes to have a good time over Labor Day weekend too. Uh, make sure you bring in some, short, some sort of shade, um, bring some SPF, uh, because otherwise you'll be feeling it. South Walton Beach Safety has 26 year round positions, meaning lifeguards are always at the beach as crowds slow down into the fall. In Walton County, Kimber Collins, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Lifeguards say conditions in the Gulf of Mexico can change at any second. So for the holiday weekend, they urge the public to stay up to date with the flag conditions on the South Walton beaches. And all you have to do is text the word safety to this number 31279.